Good morning. Well, we've got a bad snowstorm. Uh, we were supposed to get maybe an inch of snow today. They called it a clipper. And now it's <clears throat> pretty rough outside. School's closed. No work. Right now we're at four inches of really wet snow and it's coming down. So I thought I'd make a video on what I feel is the biggest mistake new backpack hunters or backpackers make uh, when they go backpacking. And my advice would be, if you're going to go backpack hunting, like say you're going to go out to Colorado, you're going to go to Wyoming, you're going to go to Montana, and you're planning on three, four, five day trip, week trip, and you watch a bunch of YouTube videos like I do, and you're trying to figure out what, what all you're going to take, what you're going to do, and your first backpacking trip is your first backpacking trip. You need to, you've got all year to do some weekend backpacking trips where you live, uh, in some rural area, on, on your hunting property, on a friend's property, on a place that has trails, on public land. And you can go out and do these, get used to what it takes to set up your tent to sleep. And you're not hunting, so you don't have to worry about, you know, um, bringing a gun. Although you could uh take some extra weight in your pack to make up for the gun or the bow or whatever but you can get used to eating some of these meals what you like you can make your own meals with mylar uh vacuum seal bags that open up and zip lock and you pull more water in you can try all these different things and then when you do go hunting you're five steps ahead it's almost you know the the first time you go backpack hunting you go out west you go to the back country you're trying to learn the terrain. You're trying to turn, learn where the trails are, trying to learn where the animals are. And now you've never set up your tent other than maybe in your living room or in your yard once. You forgot stuff. You forgot how to do stuff. You left stuff at home. Uh, so what you're going to want to do, if you really want your backpacking trip, backpack, you know, the first trip, you're probably not going to get an animal, but you may. But then on top of that, you're learning how to actual do backpacking and it's a skill you can watch all the videos you want if you're not a backpacking genius from watching videos you actually have to go out and do it you got to figure out what your body will tell you, you got to figure out well i should have brought some man acid i should have brought some extra tab i should have brought some paint but i should have brought this should have brought that um obviously it'll be different when you go hunting it'll probably be colder but at least you can get used to building your fires finding your tinder uh trying out your stoves and you can do all that. This is going to this is going to be the biggest thing to help your trip be better. It's going to be way better than the videos or for or remembering everything, because it's not that big a deal. You're not hunting. You don't have a thousand dollars worth of tags you've bought. You don't have um, your whole vacation you're, you're spending, and now you're ruined it because you weren't experienced this way you every weekend you can go you can cut this trip short you go out on uh friday evening and saturday morning you say you know what this didn't work and i gotta i forgot to do this or i need to prep more you go home and you're not out anything so the number one tip in my opinion for backpack hunting is go backpacking on the weekends take your family if you want go by yourself and just do it in an area closer to home place where you know there's going to be cell service and get used to stuff. Get used to uh, sleeping in your tent and, you know, get used to, honestly, sleeping in a tent. The first trip out west is going to be rough. And it's one of those things that I think once you've done it a few times, you get to where it doesn't bother you as bad. I, I bought me a new chair years ago, this old camouflage chair. The first three weeks I had it, it was so uncomfortable. But I got used to it. I got used to it. And now it's my favorite chair. So it's just something that I think uh, if you just get out and you do it, you get better at it. Also, you can change stuff if the sleeping pad doesn't work or if you need a different sleeping arrangement. You learn how to set up stuff so it's more comfortable. And then when you go hunting, it's second nature. You already know what you're doing. That's just a little tip.